G'day guys, here we are at the number five channel stop. Right, this drawing, um, lots of dimensions all over it, and it looks like there's only three major, I guess, cuts we're gonna have to do. Um, so not too tricky, I reckon we're pretty capable of doing this. Let's start out with what we always do, and we wanna figure out the footprint. Um, we've got 12 and eight here, but it doesn't tell us the gap in the middle. So if we look over the other side, we can see we've got 60, and then the length of it, um, it doesn't give us the full dimension, but we can see we've got 58 and 22. And we can math that one out and figure out that 58 plus 22 is uh, 80, right? Yeah, I think that's 80. 80? Yeah, 80. So we've got 60, comma, 80. Yeah, it's 80. Right. Sorry about that one. Um, so there's our footprint. We've got to push it up. Again, doesn't give us the full dimension. Geez, someone's trying to make us think. Um, we need to add these two together, 32 and 16, which will come to 48. You guessed it. So we push pull, click once, go to 48, enter. And there is our overall, the overall size of our 3D model. Okay, um, let's go easiest first. Bottom little corner here, we need to take out a little shape, um, 16 by 22. So we're going to grab the rectangle. Let's see if I can get it right first time. Uh, let's try 22 comma 16. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now, remember in the last video, I told you guys about using the red arrow of the um, push-pull tool to hover over the edge. This is where it comes in handy. Because if I click on this, I can't actually see when I've gone all the way through, right? I'm not sure when I've gone all the way through. It does say offset limited to 60, means it's not going to push any further than the full depth of the shape. But it's really good here to hover over that if I know that I'm going the full way through. Okay. Alternatively, because I haven't, I'm not holding the mouse button down. I can hold down the scroll wheel and orbit around the shape until I can see that backside, and I can make sure it's all the way through. Okay. But oh, whoopsies. Right. Um, yeah. Plenty of different ways to do that. But next, I reckon we'll probably uh, let's remove this uh, this kind of chunk here. Okay. Um, now we can see that the We've got a flat surface on top here, and I reckon that's where we want to draw the line, okay? So if we get the tape measure and we see how far in from that back corner that line is, we can see it's 45 millimeters. So let's grab the tape, 45 millimeters, and draw, use a pencil tool to draw a line on the red axis straight across. Make sure your line's not black, make sure it goes red. So we're following that red axis, then we know it's straight, okay? Perfect. We need to push this part of the shape down, which is 14 millimeters. So I can click there, one, four, enter, and that's starting to take its shape. Now, let's see what we've got here. We see we need to go, this part here needs to be 12 millimeters in, this part needs to be eight millimeters in. So we'll grab the tape, from that corner, 12, enter, from this corner, eight, enter. Now, best thing would probably be just to grab the line tool and draw a line straight up on the blue axis and another line straight up on the blue axis. I'm sure if we wanted, we could have done some math and drawn a rectangle on this top face and pushed it down, but this way works pretty well. We'll grab the push-pull tool now, and we need to push this face in, and how far does it say it goes? 22 millimeters. So we click, push it in, two, two, enter, and look at that. That is one of the best number five channel stops I've ever seen. Great work. If you followed along, good stuff. Let's edit. Delete guides and we'll file, save, and we'll save it as number five channel stop. Oops, not top, stop. There we go. Save and we'll go file new. Next drawing is going to be an angled support. Oh, this is fun. Get to learn how to draw angles. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.